Hi, this is John Langley. Welcome to Tech Talk Episode 5. Have you ever run into a situation where you're trying to explain something to somebody and words aren't just getting it done, so your best bet is to go with a visual? Well, there's a really cool tool out there called Snagit. It's by a company called TechSmith that will let you do either screenshots or um, screen casting. And you can do that from your Google Chrome browser, which is really cool. Uh, it's, it is a, a Chrome app add-on, so I'd like to show you about how to do that. This is going to come in really handy if you're trying to either show parents how to do something, a little quick tutorial on how to do something, or obviously if you want to show a student how to do something. And we can also flip this around. We can have students show other students or show you how to do something. Um, very powerful tool. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing we'll want to do is go to the, the Chrome Web Store and search for TechSmith Snagit, or looking for an extension. And when we find it, we'll see it has the little S on there for the Snagit symbol. We're going to add it to Chrome. And I already have it added, that's why it says added. Um, we'll just click the button up here that says add to Chrome. Once it's installed, it'll have the little Snagit button. So when we're ready to use Tech Snagit, simply go up to our icon, click on it, and the panel is going to open up. We have the option to use it to either do a screen, um, we have the option to either use it to, to do a screenshot or we can use it to do video. Uh, let me talk about the screenshot first. So if I look at the screenshot, I can pick a region, I can do everything it sees, or the scrolling, so those are pretty cool. And if I want to do a region, for instance, if I want to do this, go ahead and grab that, and it lets me decide, is that really what I want? If it is, I click the camera side. If it's not, I hit the X. So I'm going to click the camera side. It does sync it. I can name my image. Okay, as soon as it gets so far enough along to, to sync, um, it'll, it'll let me name it. So I'll let it sync a little bit further. There we go. Got it, and it has these really cool tools on the side. I can pick a color, so if I want to go green arrow, change the color. I want the arrow, so I can draw an arrow. Let's draw an arrow to here. I can draw boxes, circles, I can also add text. So if I want, let's say, consistent there, green text. Notice I can change the font size. However, if I'm okay with that size, I just click. And then I decide what the message uh, is going to be. And once I have that set, it's there. It has automatically saved it over to my Google Drive, and it's in a folder. So, just to show you where it is, I can hit a little button, either grab a link or I can download it. That's cool, but I want to show you where it is. So if I go into Google, and I'm going to go to Drive. And I do have a bunch of folders here, so I'll just scroll right down to it. And it has a TechSmith folder that it automatically creates for you. And then anything that you do is going to pop into that folder. Okay, so the one that I'm working on. If I double click on it, it'll open up that image and it'll show my edits. And then I can insert that into a uh, Google document or I can send it as an attachment to somebody and show them here's what you do. Okay, so that's a really cool uh, feature to be able to have. There's a lot of screenshot tools out there. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Now, the other thing that makes Snagit pretty cool is I can also use it to do video to explain. So if I go video, hit screen, oh, popped up in my other window, let me drag it over here. I can tell it either to record from a particular tab, I can tell it to look at the particular screen, or if I want to go in depth, I can pick something else that's an option down here. I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I have two screens going right now. I'm going to tell it to go screen two, and I'm sharing that. 
there is actually a little TextSmith extension is sharing your screen that shows up. So I'm going to move that back out of the way. Uh, and right now it's sharing, so it's following everything. So if I want to explain to people, hey, if you want to do a Google search, click on this box, and then simply type your search in there. So if I want to search for grandma, Grandma's Cookies, which are pretty dang incredible, I can search for Grandma's Cookies. When I'm ready to stop, then I simply hit the Stop Sharing. Again, it's going to sync the capture. When it gets far enough along, I'll be able to name my video. But again, very powerful, very cool. You can even share those videos with, um, share them with people via Google Drive. You can upload them to YouTube. Um, however you want to do that work. So very cool. Um, I actually do it kind of an extra step to make uh, my my Tech Talks video. So I use Snagit in order to make those. So again, um, if you want to look at the tools, hit the Snagit extension, and it'll pop up. I can either do a screenshot, the scrolling one is actually pretty cool, or I can do video with the screen, or I can do a voice narration, um, just record audio. Again, I can also, if I want to get to it, instead of going to my drive later, I can drop down and hit my captures. And that's going to open that TechSmith folder. Okay, so pretty powerful tool. Um, works pretty well. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Um, there are some other advanced kind of things that we can do, but this is still a powerful tool if you don't combine it with other stuff. So let me know if you want to take it to the next level as well. Again, this has been Tech Talk episode number five. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.